So if you're at all like me, creating terrain in your Unity game is kind of difficult, right? I mean, not only do you have to sculpt the terrain, you know, create mountains, create little grasslands and, and, and a varying, you know, amount of, of geometry for your terrain. But on top of that, you have to go through the, the texturing phase, right? And that's kind of an art on its own, right? So it's, it becomes a little bit of a hassle, especially if you're trying to learn how to program, learn how to create models in Blender, and then all of a sudden, now you have to do this other art, which is like terrain art. Uh, it's, it gets really confusing. You never really are, get satisfied with the result. Well, today I'm going to show you a little trick that I found that involves the shader graph and using custom shaders to create a perfectly textured terrain, you know, that, that procedurally generates the textures for terrain based on steepness, based on the height. So you can kind of create like this dirt, grassland, stone, snow, whatever you want kind of combo uh, really easily, really simply, just like a few minutes of your time. And it's completely dynamic. So as you make adjustments, you know, let's say you want a mountain over here and then, oh no, you want to turn that into grass and all of a sudden you want a mountain over there. Well, it's really simple to do. Once you have this shader going, uh, you can input whatever textures you want. And once you have this fundamental, you can really figure out what everything does. As you play around, you know, with different nodes in the shader graph, and all of a sudden you have your own little thing. So take this tutorial today as kind of a starting off point where you're going to go and how you can make your own custom terrain or even custom shaders in the future. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below and let's get this going. All right, guys. So this is like the third time I've done this video because, you know, my, my microphone keeps not recording my audio. You know, I'm sure as you heard in the in the intro, it cuts out a little bit uh, sometimes. I think it was because the gain was not high enough. So I made sure to turn up the gain. Hopefully we don't get any uh, background noise, but let's get started. So. Uh, first, you're going to want a new URP project so we can work with the shader graph. And really, that's it. I mean, we have this empty project and, you know, we can create this terrain. And, you know, the issue with terrain is like, oh, man, it's just a big flat square here. And you can, I mean, you can go crazy on it. Make some bumpy things or whatever. Maybe make it bigger, you know, make, make some bigger opacity. Create a crazy uh, you know, mountains or something. We're going, going large here, large and in charge here. We got our... Mountains, maybe lower that, raise the opacity. A little too small. I don't like the, the variety of the sliders. I'm no good at that. But yeah, so we're going to create like a crazy terrain. And usually, after you make something like this, you would have to like go back and texture it yourself. You know, give these mountains some little bumps here. But uh, yeah, you know, so like what we're going to do is kind of get around that issue of having to texture, you know, a terrain. And kind of you know cheat a little bit I mean it's not cheating but it's using more programming than it is uh, you know uh, what would you call it art <laughs> even though it is a little bit of art you know you're gonna it's gonna take a little bit to do it but very like this little path here that goes to nowhere all right yeah I mean you get the idea so this is what it's gonna be and usually you know you'd go here and paint the texture on or whatever and uh, you know create your layers and, and make it make it like a whole hubble hubble or whatever we're going to cut this, you know, cut the time of texturing in to like maybe 10 minutes, 20 minutes. The first things first, we have our, uh, our terrain here. We're going to create a new shader graph here. We're going to go here, lit shader graph. We'll call this whatever terrain. Sure. So here's our terrain shader. And with the shader, you're going to want to right click the shader and create a material too. Just so we can kind of live test it. The terrain, I got this water in the way. It's bumping my microphone. I'm sorry if that was loud. All right, so now we have this terrain that's linked to the shader. And so all we're going to do is, I mean, you can't just do this with terrain, right? Usually in Unity, you just drag it on. But with terrain, you got to do, oh, you got to do something special. Go to the terrain and actually go to the settings here. And you see where it says terrain lit, which is the default terrain material. Just put yours on. I'm going to give you a little warning. I've never had it give me any issues at all. Don't worry about it. And uh, yeah, let's go into the shader graph and see what we are working with. So first things first, we're going to, oh, what happened to it? Close. First things first, we're going to want to work on the steepness, right? So basically anywhere that's, that's a certain steepness, we, we're going to basically put grass and then everywhere else is going to be stone, right? So grass won't grow on like stony parts that are like a certain, you know, steepness, I guess. There's no other word for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to lurk between two different uh, textures. Here I have a pack of textures here. I bought this add-on for like 80 bucks, total rip off. All the te textures are free. 
but it is kind of like a database really simple to put into unity so you know i don't know if it was worth 80 bucks but it was it was fine so uh first things first let's create let's go to create a node and we'll make a normal vector node so we're going to get the normals from our object we can set this to object so if we move it it won't change i think that that's how that works and so all we're, we're going to want the y so the y will basically tell us the steepness of the uh of each vertex and each normal so let's go and we'll do a split and so we, here we don't have xyz but we have rgba same thing for shaders they use rgb a lot of times uh and g is y so what we're going to want to do is take this y and we're going to want to put it into a uh let's say smooth step node here just to kind of smooth out everything and so edge one and then this one this number here the in we're going to create a float to kind of control our steepness right so that is that so basically now we have this this thing right here that is going to tell us the steepness and so if we actually put this on the color without anything you can kind of see it's kind of i mean it's not really that good working because i think that the one second let me go back to this slider here so we're at this slider or whatever we don't have a slider right now but basically as you change the steepness variable like whatever the higher you go the more it will be rock right the steeper parts will turn into rock the black parts will be grass so as you can tell right here we have a very good like cliffy thing and uh yeah so we will actually make this into a slider because that's actually easier for me so i'm going to say a slider i don't know how how it goes i think it's zero to one but i'm always a fan of like doing of doing like negative one just in case something crazy happens here and so we'll do a slider oh, i just deleted it negative one to one we'll set the default to like 0.5 and yeah let's see now we got this nice little slider that will not go too high and I think that looks pretty decent, maybe a little bit less. But yeah, we got our like steepness, we got our, our we're gonna have our grass. And so now basically to add the textures, all we're going to do is uh, create some two texture variables here. So we'll call this grass, we'll call this other one, what's that called? Oh, not gradient, whoop. We'll call this other one stone, simple, simple, simple. We have our grass, we have our stone, and what we're going to want to do is put them into anytime you use a, a texture here you're going to have to get a sample texture put that in there we can duplicate this and put our other one in here and so what we, what did we see we saw the black was uh grass and the gray was stone right so we're going to do a lerp node here we'll do lerp uh, b for this one since it's on the bottom i'm very organized here and then lerp a for our top one and basically the t or what, what's basically what is lurping between or gradient it's lurping between will be our gradient here, our smooth step, and we'll plug that into the color. And so as we save, of course it's nothing because we have to put in our textures. So I have just the thing right here. I gotta go back, okay. So what is it called? We have forest ground, that's my grass here. So I'm gonna put that there and okay, yeah, it looks good, looks like it's grass. And uh, oh, we're gonna have to do something about that tiling too, huh? And uh, let's do the rock here. Not sure which rock I usually use, but it looks almost the same as the grass. And so what you're gonna to want to do is if you change the steepness, you can obviously see like, yeah, there's a difference there. It's kind of the lerping right there. So what we can do to fix that is, I mean, if you want to, you can change this to a step node. So like, let's see, if I go here and I'm, I'm not gonna, I like the smooth step, but I'm gonna to go to create a step node. And I mean, you can, you can tell, you can say whatever you like, you know, I don't, I don't know what you like. I don't know what I like, but I kind of like smooth transitions. But here's what it looks like if you have the step node, and you can kind of do that. But I don't see the smoothing around it. I like I like to have a little bit of a smoothness, so I'm going for the smooth step node. And don't worry, it will all even out very quickly, very soon. We will have a good looking project here. It just is not all the way there yet, which is okay. And so we have that, we have our, uh, thing going on here and so what we're going to want to do is also have a time to add like you know we want to add dirt right on the ground level we want to basically have different heights for different things also let's uh first before we do this let's go let's let's get this texture looking a little better so we're going to want to create go to the uv and create a tiling and offset node and we'll create a little float i want all my tiling to be the same you can do it differently you can create different vector twos for each one i like my tiling to be the same at least for this I'm going to create a tiling and put it into the tiling and so basically we can i mean i love sliders so i'm going to go create another slider here we'll do like a 30 or a 50 even 
and they'll start it at one. The minimum is one. All right, so now we have our one, and we will do the same here. We can actually just plug in the same one to this one if we wanted to, and save asset, and then go ahead and tile away. And as you can see, we're going up to like 30. It looks a little bit better. We can go and change the steepness a little more. Now we have more of like rocky looking things here. Let's go to a little bit glossy. So the way I figured out how to get rid of gloss, you know, so let's, let's lower this steep. Let's lower this a little bit. The way you get rid of gloss is you create another variable here. We'll call this uh, smoothness. This is the same thing as a smoothness in your texture here. It goes between zero and one, I'm pretty sure. So we'll go like a, another slider here. We'll say zero, one. I like zero. I'm gonna probably keep it there, but I think that says smoothness, I'm not sure. So yeah, now we have our smoothness at zero. It's not really shiny anymore. Um, I'm not liking the, the steepness of this terrain, so let's go back and we can just adjust it really quick. Let's go raise and lower the terrain. We'll make this bigger. Make this like kind of crazy here. Yeah, there we go. That looks, it was a little bit too round for me for the, for the issues here. But yeah, we got this, we can get our hills. Oh, we can get our hills here. It's a little bit now our opacity is too high. Fine. But yeah, so you can see the difference here. Is the rounder you get, the the more you know grass you get, and then the steeper you get, the hills, uh, the the stone. So now we're going to add another texture, basically not based on steepness, but based on height. So we can put this over here, move that away, and what we want to do is basically lerp between our grass and our dirt, depending on the height. So, I mean, we can make another texture here. We'll call this uh, dirt. Oh, that's that's not dirt, or maybe it is. I don't know. I don't speak that. But, uh, okay, so dirt, dirt, all right? And uh, basically, I mean, if we wanted to, I'm, I'm just, for the sake of cleanliness, I'm gonna create another one of these, but we could really just use the same one. So we have this here. We're going to create a, uh, I'm just dragging this up here, I'm getting everything ready. We're going to create a new node for position, all right? And it's going to be object position. And all we want to do is do another split. So honestly, most of it is the exact same thing. Let's get rid of this. We want to put this here. And you're splitting on the Y because we're going by height, right? So Y is up and down. So we're obviously, we're doing that. We want another smooth step. Do this. Instead of this smoothness slider, though, what we're going to do is use a different one. So I can delete that, delete this. And in the edge, we'll put this. And here we will put, what is that called? Height, make another slider. We can do like, I don't know. I don't know the values here. We'll do zero to like 100, well, 1,000, uh, not 100. I was hating Unity for making the big sliders here. So we put our height here. That's our setting there. And basically the same thing. We lerp here. We can cut these, delete that. We wanna lerp, oh, we wanna get our texture here, of course. Do texture 2D, sample texture 2D. Put it on our UVs. Uh, we want to lerp between this and our friend the dirt, or and our friend the grass. So we, we can, if we wanted to, and just for simplicity's sake, we can just do this magic here. And there we go, we have our same grass, and maybe I have to switch these up. I don't remember, or I don't know which side's which. But basically to mix these together, what I'm going to do is just lerp as well. Lerp again here. And I'm gonna lerp between this, this lerp, this lerp. So this is the, the height base, the steepness base. And you know, I just want the steepness to kind of rule over, right? So the steepness will go in the steepness place. If, uh, what is black? Black is, I think black is the other one. Uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens here. Okay, so now we will actually go out our color. See, and I might have to switch these two. I'm not really sure. Okay, no. So it looks looks okay. We need our another texture, but as you can see, this is gray at the bottom, and that's what we want. Where zero is is basically going to be grass, and so or I mean, it's going to be dirt. So we can go in, we can put in our dirt texture, and okay, where's our dirt texture? Dirt texture I put as I think it's ground here. Go in here and create our dirt texture, and there we go. So now we have dirt at the bottom. We can adjust the height to where like the dirt starts. So like where the dirt ends or whatever. So we can go boom. Okay, so if it's anything higher than zero, now the dirt's not there. Um, so yeah, and obviously if you want to split more and lerp more, the more you lerp, you can add, you can add different textures, obviously, no problem. 
Uh, and so there we go. We have our you know, basic structure here. Um, yeah, and so if you want to make normals and, and have normal, normal maps and all that stuff, it's not difficult, really. I mean, the easy way to do it would be to, you know, duplicate this, right? Have all this and replace just replace the textures with normals. Change the normal here. And then when you create another, another texture, you're going to want to do like, uh, let's just do one here. <laughs> the other language again. I think it's like Vietnamese or something. Dirt normal. And what you're going to want to do is basically when you say, when it says mode, just do bump. And you plug it into the normal one here and make this normal. All of a sudden we have ourselves a normal map. So I'm not going to do the normals here, but you can do it. Um, and I think what I'm going to show you is one more quick trick. If you want to stick around, thank you for watching and thank you for sticking around. You get one quick trick is we can change like the seasons, right? It's very, this is a very, very easy way to change like the seasons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this grass texture we have right here I'm going to scoot it back a little bit because I do not like how close it is to everything we're going to need it basically we're going to lerp between this and another texture I like making my space here because I really do not enjoy visual scripting it just makes me way too messy I I mean just me I'm a very messy guy so here we go we have our thing we have our new te new sample texture and what we want to do is create another one we'll call this uh, snow so here we go we got snow pop it up here with our dirt and we will plug in our snow texture. And so all we're going to do is we're going to do another lerp. Another great old lerp here. We're going to get rid of these, these connections. I wish Unity would just let me keep everything without the connections. We're going to go here. We're going to create another lerp here. We are going to do a go to our normal right here and our, and our split. And basically for this one, instead of using our G, we will use our R, which is our X. And what we want to do is, oh, let's do a smooth step really quick so we can actually have some control over it too. Of course, we'll use our R here in the smooth step. And the in will be another one. We'll call it uh, another float. We'll call it snow. Oh, snow amount or whatever. Whatever you want to call it. Pop it in here. There we go. And we can go right here into our lerp. And we will lerp this as our where our grass was we just put this in here i think our grass was plugging into one more place up here and now our grass is replaced with the snow mount slider that we are, haven't made a slider yet we can do zero to one okay here we go and the magic will begin it's already begun you see that zero is that and as we go more it's frosted so if we wanted to get rid of this altogether you see that it has a little bit we just give our slider a little bit, you know, a little bit more leeway. We'll say the minimum is like one negative one. All right, and so now we go down to negative one. It's back to our normal texture. Let me get a no texture here. All this snow. There we go. And as we grow, our mountain freezes, and we have more of a snowy mountain. So it's pretty cool. Uh, very very versatile. Um, obviously, as you you know, raise or lower the terrain will get different results that you want. You can change it, make it grow, get it steep, get it steep, get it bumpy, however you want to do it, however you make your terrain normally. I'm not very good at terrain, as, as you can tell, but you know, you can kind of like make some cool things really easily, really fast. And if you don't like something, just change it, change out the textures, change everything about it. You know, very fast iterations through terrain, um, multiple different things, and you know, one kind of material for it really any terrain, multiple levels. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. And yeah, this is, this is what saves me hours and hours and hours. Make sure, you know, make sure to like and subscribe uh, if you like the video and thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I can't believe how happy I was when I finally figured out how to make this uh, shader graph. It's kind of a, uh, I took it from Blender and then I adjusted it for the Unity Shader Graph. It seems to work okay. Uh, I've always been kind of like jealous of Unreal with how easy, you know, it seems like they have uh, their shaders working for terrain pretty simply. So it's good to always have a custom shader. I'm sure I'll be able to build on it in the future. So make sure to like and subscribe and, and follow and comment below if, if this helped you. And just let me know uh, if you want to see more of this kind of shader tutorials or of, you know, just let me know what you want to see. We'll get it done. Thank you so much for watching and bye.